Very well. Now, the question we're going to try to answer is, what is the quantity of output the firm should produce in order to maximize profits? Since we said that the firm wants to maximize profits, then the next question is obviously that. How much is the quantity of output that you produce in order to maximize profits? So let's bring back the profit equation. I'm going to give you three explanations, um, three ways of explaining this, basically. Um, essentially the same thing using different tools. So let's say uh, I use pi for profits and we use p for price and profits is going to depend on output, that's q. And again, it's going to be equal to the revenue, let's use r for revenue, which depends on the output, minus the cost, which you c for cost, that also depends on the output. Okay? Now, as you will see, that a, a, a critical point here or, or a critical term is how much the next unit will change output, right? So that when you produce one more unit, how profits change? Well, let's, uh, let's write the equation again without the um, output in this case, without the C, so we can kind of use it and give you kind of a, uh, an intuitive explanation of, uh, of this. So let's say that the next unit increases um, uh, profit in this way. Let's say the next unit increases revenue by that much, increases cost by that much. What happens to your profit? Well, if, you, if the next unit you, provide, you, you produce increases revenue by more than cost, well, clearly your profits go up. And how do we call that, uh, that change in revenue when you produce that uh, last unit or when you produce the next unit? We call that marginal revenue. The marginal revenue is how much your revenue changes every time you produce one more unit or when you produce the last unit. And how do we call that uh, term that tells you how much your cost change every time you produce one more unit? Well, that is called marginal cost. And in this particular case, or marginal cost, and we've we, we seen that uh, in the previous chapter, marginal cost is how much your cost change every time you produce one more unit. So what we are saying here is when, if the last unit increased revenue, more than cost means that, that the marginal revenue, your marginal revenue of production is larger than your marginal cost and your profits will go up. Now imagine what will happen on the other hand is the last unit you produce, if the marginal revenue of the last unit you produce right, is, was less than the marginal cost. Well in that case your revenue increased by that much with your last unit and your cost increased by all that much and your profits went down because the negative part of the equation is going down. So you see that when you're, if the marginal revenue of the last unit, if the revenue created by the last unit was less than the, rev than the cost created by the last unit, uh, you actually decrease your profit by producing that unit. So clearly, if you get rid of, the, uh, of that unit, you will actually increase your profits. So what we're saying here is that a point in which you know you're doing the best is when these two things are the same. When marginal revenue equals marginal cost, then your profits are at maximum, All right? And why is that? Well, because if your marginal revenue was larger than your marginal cost, you should produce more and you will increase profits. And if your marginal revenue was less than your marginal cost, you should get rid of some units and you will actually increase profits. And you know you're doing the best when your marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Now, this is, if you know a little bit of calculus, we can explain this fairly easily by um, by using derivatives, and I'm going to do the explanation here. It's going to, not going to take me just, just two minutes, right? So, um, if we wanted to, uh, to maximize this equation, what we will do is we take the derivative of this equation, right, of the profit equation, with respect to Q, and that will be dr, over dq, minus dc, over dq, and make that equal to zero. And if we do that, you end up with dc equal dq, dc over dq equals dr over dq. Well, as it turns out, this is a slope, which is a derivative, right? So this, this tells you this is a slope of the total cost curve, which we have said is marginal cost. And again, it's a change in total cost over the change in output. And this term right here is marginal revenue. This is how much your revenue changes every time you change your output. This is your marginal revenue. So if you know a little bit of calculus, then it should be clear for you that the only way to maximize your profit equation is when the derivatives 
uh, are equal to each other, and the derivative are marginal revenue and marginal cost, so they should equal to each other in order to maximize profits. Right? So you maximize profits when your marginal revenue equals marginal cost. Finally, there's also a way to explain this graphically, and it shouldn't be that difficult either. But I actually, of all the three explanations, I actually like the graphical uh, explanation the, le the least. I think if you understand the first two, I think you're in pretty good shape. But let's do it anyways. So this is, let's say we graph output here and dollars here, both costs and profits. Let's say that your revenue changes in this way. So this is revenue. And let's say that your cost changes kind of in this way, and this is what we have been doing since last, this is how we have envisioned costs since the last chapter. Well, if the, the, the point of the, the amount of output that maximizes your profits must be the point at which the difference between these two curves is the largest. So visually, we can say that it'll probably be around here. So Q1 is where the profits are the most because the difference between the revenue and the cost is the largest. Well, what is happening at that point? Well, at that point, the slope of the revenue curve, which is marginal revenue, is the same as the slope of the um, total cost curve, which is marginal cost. So clearly, this is another um, kind of explanation that at the point in which you maximize the output that maximizes profits is the point in which marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Okay, so that's all what we're saying here, that the marginal cost uh, equals marginal revenue is kind of the, the, the condition for, a, for any firm to maximize profits. Now, in the next section, I'm going to give you a little example of a problem that we can solve if you actually know, you have numbers for a profit equation or the cost equation.